Hello. Today I'd like to talk about the basics of probability. Talk about some of the basic terminology that we use in probability. And we want to start with the term random procedure. A well-defined random procedure is just what it says. We know exactly what's going to happen. It's well-defined. And there is some action during the procedure that occurs at random. For example, and I'll use this example several times today, rolling a die. Well defined, we know exactly that one of these six sides has to come up. Pretty simple. Another example of a well defined procedure is I've taken four cards from a deck of cards, and my procedure is to mix them up and randomly choose one of the cards. Another example of a well defined random procedure would be uh, let's consider a couple who have two children. Now, assuming that they know, made no special plans to have a boy or a girl, then we can assume that whether a boy or a girl occurs is pretty much at random. Well defined random procedure. All right, the next term we're going to discuss. is the term trial. A trial in probability is simply one instance of performing the action of a, of a random procedure. So to clarify that, back to my die, one trial would be simply the rolling of the die. Then back to my cards, one instance of a trial here would be choosing at random one of the cards. Next term. Outcome. When we talk about an outcome in probability, we're talking about the results, or at least one of the results, of a trial. To make it perfectly clear, when I roll a die, I have exactly six different possible outcomes, the numbers one through six. When I am choosing one of these four cards, and if I have my well-defined procedure uh, specifically asking for the, the suit, then my outcomes are either spades, hearts, clubs, or diamonds. When we talk about the couple having children, obviously I've got two possible outcomes, boy or girl. Now, when we discuss all the possible outcomes of a random procedure, then we're talking about what's called the sample space. The sample space is simply a list of all the possible outcomes. Okay. Next is An event. Now, an event is one or more outcomes that we are particularly interested in. That is, we want to know possibly what the probability of it happening is. Now, as I said, an event may be one outcome or maybe a combination of outcomes. And I can clarify that by backing it in the die. I can define the event that I'm interested in as rolling a five. Or I could define my event as rolling an even number. So in this case, my event really is made up of the outcomes two, four, and six. I could define the event that I'm interested in is getting a heart. So the probability of that event would be, well, one out of Four. Or I could define my event as choosing a black card. So here I have two possible outcomes that satisfy that event. Okay. Sometimes coming up with uh, all the possible outcomes is, is easiest just to make a list. So if we go back to the, the couple that had two children, let's make a list of all the possible outcomes. 
Now, the outcomes, each outcome is two children. So, here they are. One possible outcome, let me, let me get a better pen here. One of the possible outcomes is a boy followed by another boy. Another possible outcome is a boy and then a girl. The third outcome is a girl followed by a boy. And of course, the fourth outcome is a girl followed by another girl. These are the four outcomes of that well-defined procedure. So, this was just a brief introduction of some of the terminology and a brief introduction of the beginning of probabilities. We'll continue with this in other videos.